Hi guys, today we'll be looking at the OPI Peru collection for autumn 2018. This collection consists of 12 cream polishes and they're all quite warm toned, ranging from a couple reds to neutrals, purples and there's one grey blue polish as well. I absolutely love OPI polishes and this collection is a great example of why I love OPI. I've got all but two polishes that are opaque in just two coats and they dry incredibly glossy. So first up I have Yes My Condor Can Do. This is a very dark kind of brown burnt red. On the nails it looks slightly darker than in the swatch video but you can still definitely see that it's a brown red shade. It doesn't look black on the nails. This has a really nice easy to apply formula. It's nearly opaque in one coat, but I do see a couple bald spots still, so I will be applying a second coat. It dries incredibly glossy, and I actually didn't use a top coat for any of my swatch photos. The second coat kind of deepens up that colour a little bit, and it's fully opaque in two coats. I actually don't have anything similar to Yes My Condor Can Do in my OPI collection, so I decided to just compare it with the other two reds in this collection. As you can see, My Condor Can Do almost looks a bit purple toned compared to the other two polishes, but they are all quite burnt red shades. Next up I have Como Salama, and this is another quite dark burnt red polish. This again has an incredible formula, very similar to the previous one where it's nearly opaque in just one coat, but I will be adding a second coat just to even it out a little bit. I'm absolutely amazed by how glossy this dries. It is fully opaque in just two coats. As you can see, the second coat does kind of deepen up that color a little bit. The first polish that came to mind when I saw this one is Just A Little Rusty At This and I was completely wrong about that. As you can see, Just A Little Rusty At This is a little bit more pink toned. Then I also compared it with Can't Read Without My Lipstick and Lost On Lombard. Lost On Lombard is a similar kind of burnt red shade but it is much lighter and Can't Read Without My Lipstick is quite similar as well but just a little bit darker. The next polish I have is I Love You Just Be Cusco and this is another beautiful red shade. This is almost like a classic red but just a little bit darker still. Again, it has an incredible formula. It's nearly opaque in just one coat but I will be adding a second coat just to brighten up that colour a little bit. It applies really evenly and really smooth. Again, it dries super glossy. It's fully opaque in just two coats and that second coat does add a little bit more brightness to the polish. I'm a huge fan of OPI reds, so I have a lot to compare it to. The first one is Amour at the Grand Canal, which is just a little bit darker. Then I've got Romantically Involved, which is pretty much the same, but just the tiniest bit darker as well. And then the last one is Big Apple Red, which is a classic red, and as you can see, it is much brighter and lighter than I Love You Just Be Cusco. Next up is My Solar Clock is Ticking, and this is a really nice burnt coral shade. This has a slightly more of a creamier formula. It's a little bit thicker than the previous ones, but still really, really easy to work with. And again, it's nearly opaque in just one coat. It's a little bit uneven on the first coat, so it does definitely require a second coat. Again, it dries really nice and glossy. It actually dries slightly darker than when the nail polish is wet. It is fully opaque in just two coats. Mm -hmm. 
I don't have anything similar in my collection to my solar clock is ticking, but the two polishes that came to mind when I saw this one was Two Can Do It If You Try and Live Love Carnival. Two Can Do It If You Try is kind of a similar shade category, but much, much brighter. And Live Love Carnival is just much more pink toned and brighter as well. So now we're starting with the neutrals of this collection and first up I've got Machu Picchu. This is a really nice, crisp, clean, bright, kind of peachy toned neutral shade. This has a really nice formula for it being a neutral. It is a little bit more streaky than the previous polishes but it's still really easy to apply, nice and creamy formula. Again, it dries really nice and glossy, so you don't require a top coat for any of these polishes. And it's fully opaque and streak free in just two coats. The first polish that I thought of when I saw Machu Picchu was I'll be there in a Prosecco and again I was completely wrong. That's a much brighter shade and a lot more neutral whereas Machu Picchu is definitely a lot more peachy leaning. So I've also compared it to my very first Knockwurst which is a little bit more pink toned but still quite neutral and I'd say a little bit lighter. Then I've got Somewhere Over the Rainbow Mountains which is part of the Peru collection as well which is kind of a similar idea but just slightly darker and then a Humidity as well which again Again, it's just a little bit darker with some shimmer in it. Next up I have the polish Somewhere Over the Rainbow Mountains and this is another neutral in the collection. This is very similar to the previous shade but this is slightly darker and a little bit more pink toned as well. This has a similar formula to all the other polishes we've seen so far. It's really easy to apply. The first coat is really nice and smooth and even. The polish dries slightly darker than when it's wet. It's fully opaque in just two coats. I've got the same comparison as the previous polish, so I've got Be There at a Prosecco, Machu Picchu, my very first knockwear, Somewhere Over the Rainbow Mountains, and Humidity. Next up I have Seven Wonders of OPI and I absolutely love this shade. This again is quite neutral toned, but this is a lot more kind of lavender toned, a little bit of pink and a little bit of purple. This again has a really nice, smooth, easy formula. It's slightly streaky on the first coat, so it will require a second coat to be fully opaque. The second coat really brightens up that color and it's fully opaque in just two coats. Again, it dries really nice and glossy. I've got a few polishes to compare it to. First up I've got Purple Palazzo Pants which is just slightly darker but still that similar kind of mix between pink and purple. Next up I've got Lucky Lucky Lavender which is one of my all time favourite OPI shades and this is pretty damn similar to that one. And lastly I have one Hecla of a colour which is a little bit darker and just a little bit more purple toned. Next up I have Lima Tell You About This Colour and this is a really nice light Barbie pink. I don't usually go for this shade of pink but I think this is a really nice one. This has a similar formula to the previous polishes, um, really nice and easy to apply but it is quite streaky on the first coat and I feel like it is a little bit more sheer than the previous polishes. The second coat really brightens up that pink, but it is still a little bit streaky for my liking, so I will be adding a third coat just to get everything nice and even. I think if you're careful with the application, you can definitely get away with just two coats, but just to be safe, I'm going to do three coats. The third coat completely evens everything out and it's fully opaque in three coats. The 
The first nail polish that I thought of when I saw Lima tell you about this color was Kiss Me I'm Brazilian, which is quite a bit darker. And I've also compared it to Suzy Nails New Orleans, which is pretty much identical. I can't really tell a difference. I think Suzy Nails New Orleans might be just a drop lighter, but they're pretty much identical. The next polish I have to show you is called Suzy Will Quench You Later. And this is quite similar to the previous one, but just a lot more muted of a pink shade. A little bit more dusty. This has a really, really nice formula, especially compared to the previous one. This applies really evenly and I don't really see any streaks on the first coat. It will require a second coat just to get it completely covered up. Again, it dries really nice and glossy. It's a really easy, smooth formula to work with. The second coat slightly brightens up that color and it's fully opaque in two coats. I don't have anything in my collection similar to Suzy Will Quench you Later, so I decided to compare it with the other two pinks in this collection because they are a little bit similar. The Seven Wonders of OPI is definitely a little bit more muted and more dusty, a little bit more neutral as well, whereas Lima Tell You About This Color is just a little bit more bright. Next up, I have Grandma Kissed a Gaucho, and this is a really nice pink toned medium purple. This formula however is completely different than any of the other formulas in this collection. It is a jelly polish and it really needs to be built up to opacity. It's still really easy to apply, really smooth formula, it's just very very sheer. I'm not sure why this is so sheer compared to the rest but I think it would look quite nice in a jelly sandwich. It is nearly opaque in two coats. If you're in a rush, you can definitely get away with just applying two coats. You can definitely see enough color. Um, but to have it fully opaque, I would recommend adding a third coat. Again, it does dry really nice and glossy. The third coat really brightens up that color. It's fully opaque in three coats. But like I said, I think it would work quite nicely in a jelly sandwich as well. I don't have anything that's quite the same as Grandma Kissed a Gaucho, so I've compared it to I Manicure for Beads, which is a little bit more warm toned. And then I've also got one Hecla of a color, which is just a little bit more muted and a little bit lighter. Next up I have Don't Toot My Flute and this is a really light periwinkle purple. Again, for such a light shade, it has a really nice and easy formula. It's slightly streaky on the first coat, but the second coat does completely even that out. The second coat slightly brightens up that color and it's fully opaque in just two coats, which is really impressive for such a light shade. I thought I had something that was similar in my collection, but nothing is quite the same. First up, I've got Rumple Wiggin, and this is a little bit more of a warmer toned light purple. Then you can see Don't Toot My Flute is just that little bit periwinkle, and then You're Such a Budapest, which is also a periwinkle, but it's much more blue toned and it has a little bit of shimmer in it. The last polish that I have to show you is called Alpaca My Bags, which is definitely my favorite name in this collection, but this polish is kind of the odd one out. This is a grey bluish shade. The formula is pretty similar to the previous ones, although it is a little bit sheer on the first coat. It's also a little bit of a thinner formula, so I've made a little bit of a mess on my ring finger. It does build up really nicely though, and it is fully opaque in just two coats. I'm not quite sure how to describe this shade to be honest. It's kind of like that mermaidy kind of color, but you'll see from my comparison in the seconds, not quite the same. 
So I wasn't really sure what to compare it to, so I grabbed a bunch of random polishes. First up, I've got Cement the Deal, which is a classic grey, and as you can see next to it, it looks a lot more blue-greeny toned. Then I've got I Don't Give a Rotterdam, which is another quite weird shade of grey, um, but it's not similar at all. And then when I said like a mermaidy colour, I meant either Thanks a Wind Million or Mermaid's Tears, which is just a lot more green toned. I absolutely love this collection. I do always love OPI, but the formula on all of these polishes and the colours in this collection, I'm just obsessed with it. I think it's got a really nice range of colours, and although I do have some similar shades in my collection, I don't really have any proper dupes. So I'm extremely happy with this collection and I will definitely be using them a lot. I think for a lot of nail art as well because these are quite unique colours. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.